Good day students and today I'll be showing you how you can compile your internal assessment document to give to your lecturer so that it can be uploaded to the CXC platform. Now you would have your IA which is a Word document at the moment but your lecturer requires you to submit a PDF document and in your IA you will have your different sections and so forth and first of all I'm going to show you how you can create an automatic table of contents now within the different headings of your internal assessment you just want to highlight the headings and make sure that they have this heading one style okay you're going to make sure that they have that heading one style so as you go through your different headings within your internal assessment you're just going to give all of these the heading one style once you give them the head in one style, it would allow Word to identify which sections should be in your table of contents. So now you're going to go to the area. For this, I'm going to create a new page. So I'm going to insert a blank page. And then I am going, you're going to go to references in your Word in your Word document and then in your far left corner, you're gonna see something called table of contents. You're gonna choose any of the automatic table styles that you prefer. I'm just gonna go ahead with automatic table number two. And see here, we have our table of contents. The page numbers are already there created for you. Now for those, who intern for those whose internal assessment requires them to submit to include a bibliography, Word can also do that for you as well. Again, I'm gonna insert a blank page and for Word to automatically create a table of, sorry, a bibliography, you need to have your sources in. So under references again, right in the middle, you're gonna see citations and bibliography. You're gonna click manage sources and here is where you're gonna create your source list. Okay, I'm going to click new and if it's a book, you type in the name of the author. I'm just going to type in Helen. Let's say it's Guide to Caribbean Studies and it was created in 2015. The City Barbados, depending on the text that you're using or whatever source you're using, you can choose whether book, book section, journals, websites, all the proper sources that you have here, and you're just filling what they require. If it does, if you don't have that information, you can also leave it blank. So I'm gonna click OK. And here it has my source, and my source is in APA format. You can also choose what sort of format your lecture will indicate to you which format they prefer. And once your sources are in, once you add more than one source and you're ready to create your bibliography, you go here to bibliography, you click the particular style that you want. You also want to make sure that the style is APA, depending on what your lecturer asks for. So I'm going to click bibliography and there. My bibliography automatically created in the right style and format. So you would have have your table of contents, your bibliography for your cover page. However you want to style your cover page is up to you, but it should include some following things. The year of the examination, for example, 2021, the subject, I'm using Caribbean studies, your candidate number, your name, your title of your project, and your lecturer who supervises you on this project, okay? So now I'm going to save my document. I'm going to save it to my computer in my desktop. I'm going to save it on my desktop for quick access. So let's say you have it saved as Caribbean Studies IA. Okay, that's fine. However, when you're sending your IA to your lecturer, it should not be named Caribbean Studies IA. And it also needs to be a PDF format. To save it as a PDF format, you can either go to File, Export, and you will have the option to create PDF, or you can use the Save as option and change it to PDF. I'll use Export. You go Create PDF, 
and your file should be named first with your candidate number the center code is the center code is 130200 followed by your unique four digit number and the moderation code the moderation code it differs from subject to subject then you would put a dash and one indicating how many documents you are submitting if it's only one document you are uploading you're sending to your lecturer it is dash one if you're sending more than one document the first document will be labeled dash one the second document will be labeled dash two okay and this will generate the pdf document for you so this automatically creates your pdf document okay and you can see here the file is labeled your candidate number followed by the moderation code dash one additionally you will be submitting a cover sheet for your sba slash ia now your lecturer will either give you the cover sheet or the cover sheet can be found by going to the CXC website. Simply go to CXC.org under examinations. You go to CAPE and you look for your required SBA. We are doing Caribbean studies. You click on the SBA forms and you select the cover sheet and you will download that cover sheet. Do not fill out the cover sheet in the browser as the information will not be saved. Okay. Once you click download, I already have the cover sheet, but that's fine. Once you click download, you want to open the cover sheet in Adobe Reader. Okay not the web browser adobe reader is best to open your cover sheet you can simply install that software it is free and then you're going to enter the information name of the center the center code is 130200 the year 2021 your name and also your registration number and if your SBA has a topic or a title you can name it here then you're gonna go and save as because this also has to follow the same convention we're gonna use our candidate number the moderation code and dash CS for cover sheet Okay, that's CS for cover sheet. Simply save your file. And you're now going to have two files, one dash CS for your cover sheet and the other, your candidate number, the moderation code dash one for your actual SBA document. Okay. And these are the two files depending on the course that you will be submitting to your lecturer. All the best.